Hey everybody, this video is vastly different than what I normally make, but I keep getting asked a lot about my hair and what I do for my hair. So first of all, thank you. I've gotten a lot of compliments on my curls. They have not always looked as good as they do now. And it took me years to figure out this routine that I'm going to tell you about. And it works for my curls. I don't know if it'll work for yours, but I thought I would share, just make a video because I think that would be helpful. So currently in the shower, I'm just using a restorative shampoo and conditioner. I straightened my hair for many, many years. So there's a lot of damage, but I'm in the process of, process of switching over to doTERRA's shampoo and conditioner bars. So going over to bar rather than bottles for lots of different reasons. But anyway, when I'm in the shower, when I have my conditioner in my hair, I let it, I let it sit for a little while and then I will brush the conditioner through my hair using this brush. I just got this at the grocery store. So it's a pretty great brush and I really like it. Once I get out of the shower when my hair is still wet, I will actually put in Miss Jessie's Jelly Soft Curls. I love this product. I love the line. So I've tried a few different ones, but the Jelly Soft Curls, this one is the one that works best for my hair. So I will just scrunch the gel through my hair. I'll kind of do different layers. And then against the recommendation of my hairstylist, I do use hairspray to keep the frizz down. Not a fancy, expensive one, just suave. It works really well for my hair. My sister likes Aussie. She and I have identical hair and she uses Aussie. She really likes it, but I just use suave. And then really what is the big game changer is this diffuser. I got it on Amazon really an expensive diffuser and you can see it's just a conair hair dryer i don't have a fancy hair dryer but the diffuser really makes a big big difference with getting those curls to really hold and to be really awesome so i just as i do my hair gel upside down kind of flip my head upside down and scrunch it in i do the exact same thing with my diffuser so i'll put my head upside down and i will diffuse upside down and kind of do the different layers if it looks like i need more gel or more hairspray somewhere i'll just kind of put a little in and then diffuse it up and then at night, as you can see, I will wrap my hair in silk. So this is just a silk little thing that I got at a cute little boutique store. One of the videos that I watched about your hair and at night, the girl said to take a scrunchie and do one wrap around of the scrunchie, I think just to kind of contain the curls inside. I didn't do it tonight. I just put the hair up so you can kind of see it's kind of popping out. But if you don't want to wrap your hair like this, another option would be and have your thing do that, like what mine's doing right now. Another option would be to have a silk pillowcase. I know that is a lot of girls with curls. That's kind of their go-to. They really like that. I don't have silk pillowcases. And so I just do a silk wrap for my hair. And this has really been a massive difference for my curls as well, making sure that they're wrapped in silk. So that's it. Uh, just shampoo and the conditioner in the shower, shampoo and conditioner in the shower, brush the conditioner through using this particular brush. When I get out of the shower, I put Miss Jelly, Miss Jessie's Jelly Soft Curls in, followed by some suave, then diffuse with your little diffuser and Make sure your curls are on silk when you're sleeping. So I will put links for all of these things in the description of the video. But if you have any questions, let me know. I will try to answer them. I don't have all the answers. This is a lot of years of me just trying a lot of different products. And this is the routine that works for me. Hopefully that helps and I'll answer questions as I can. All right, everybody have a good night.